welcome back. A uh, little update, uh, wife's doing much better. Uh, thanks for all the well wishes and prayers. I really appreciate it, really, really appreciate it. Um, today I'm going to be starting to make another video. This is gonna be a quick one. It's gonna be involving this thing. Again, I got something coming for it. It's gonna make it look better, hopefully. We shall see. But I got to go out and uh, do something to get ready for this project that's coming. It's my early Father's Day present. Today's May 22nd, I believe. It's a Thursday. They're supposed to be showing up here between 10 and 2, and it's almost 11 now. So if it'll be here, then I can get them done. And I'll show you what they are. But in the meantime, I gotta go mess with these. And if you know what these are, they're tire pressure sensors. Um, so you kind of know where I'm going with this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go put them together and get them ready to put on the new new shoes. I'll be back. Okay, this is what we got here. This is a uh, metal valve stem. This is a sensor. Here's a screw for it. Looks like it's an Allen screw. Nope, maybe not. I don't have my glasses on me, but I'll figure it out. Uh, it already comes with Loctite, so I was going to put Loctite on it, but I guess I don't have to. So, let's get these put together. It goes like this. I believe. I said to screw them on hand tight. I, don't, I think we'll go a little tighter than that. It's an Allen wrench. It's a number number four metric Allen wrench. But that's what they're supposed to look like. I may have to loosen it up and I'll see what the wheel looks like when I get it when it gets here, but loosen that up just a little bit. You can put them any way you want to really. There's an adjustment on there, so we're gonna do that. There we go. There's one already. Fixed up and ready to go. Got these stupid gray valve stem caps, but uh, we're not going to use that. We got something special for it. So, anyway, that's how you put these together. I'm going to work on these other three, and then I'll be back. And then we'll take these back into the garage and wait for the new shoes to show up. All right, we got them all four put together. Now we'll take them inside. And we'll wait for the shoes to show up. Well, been a long day. It is uh, six o'clock in the evening on the 23rd of May, which is a uh, Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Two good things happened today. I got a notice that my pew pew showed up to my cousin and these showed up about 45 minutes ago. I've been waiting for these since between 10 and 2 is when they were supposed to be delivered, but they showed up around a little after 5 o'clock, you know, right around 5 o'clock. Um, they're going on here, obviously. Um, now I get put my um, tire pressure monitoring system sensors on there. It's too late to take them into the shop, so I'll drop them off early, early in the morning when I head up to West Point to go pick up my new Pew Pew. I can't wait to get that thing in my hands. That thing's gonna be cool. I might show it to you, I might not. <laughs> but anyway, the wheels are here. They'll get mounted tomorrow, hopefully. Kind of know how I am. You know what color they are or what uh, finish they have. <laughs> so I like shiny things, just like a monkey. And that old saying goes, uh, what would the monkey do? Right? Anyway, they are covered like pretty good. So I'm gonna have to uncover these first before I can show you what they are anyway. But that's what they look like right now. So let's see what this looks like. Take off the hat. And there you go. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? 
That's going to look pretty good on that truck, huh? I gotta get a hammer or something to get that center cap out of there. I'll be right back. I ordered Chevy Emblem center caps, but I didn't get any. So. But. I happened to stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, and I got my own center caps. They're chrome. And they'll fit right on there. That's gonna look good. Black logo. Looks like everything else on the truck is black logo. And we'll get rid of these. Now we gotta put this TPMS sensor in here. It isn't very long, is it? I gotta get something underneath that to hold it. The camera's probably about ready to die, but we'll do that when we come to it. There's 80. I think I'd feel better with 80. But there's one wheel. And I'll work on the other three and I'll be back. So I got all the TPMS sensors on, ready to go to town. <laughs> I gotta go get my learning tool and see if they'll learn to the truck. Uh, and if they do, then we'll leave them the way they are. But I also thought I had an issue because the box was packed with this. And it says 22 by 9, and I ordered 20 by 9. So I went and got my tape measure, and they are 20 by 9. So we're good there. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to order new tires and get 22s. I don't want 22s. 20s is big enough. So, we're ready to go to town, other than seeing if the TPMS sensors work. If they do, then we'll call it good. If they don't, then I'll have to buy sensors from um, Jensen Tire in Fremont. But we should be good to go. I'm going to go get my tool, see if they'll learn to the truck. And if they do, then we'll be good. So, I'll be back when I get them on. Wheels look great. They're the right size. Um, I'm going to take a wheel off the truck and make sure that they fit. And we'll go take them into town tomorrow. I probably should see if they fit before I put the uh, TPMS sensors on there, but I'm pretty sure they'll fit. We'll see. So I'll be back later. I'll be back tomorrow when I get them, get the tires on and everything. And like I said, I might show you my pew pew, but I might not. So stay tuned. Talk to you. All right, I got the driver's side wheel off. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Yeah, I think it's gonna look good at all. I think it'll look great. Wheel does fit. We're really kind of flush with the. So it's just a little bit in on the body, which is what I wanted. Stock looking. I think it's gonna look, work out pretty good. Doesn't rub anywhere on the inside. I think we're gonna be good. Good. It's good. <coughs> All right, I did their learning procedure for the new TPMS and they actually work. They registered, the truck said put air in all four tires and reading zero, so which naturally it would be because there's no tires on it. But I relearned it to the original wheels for now uh, in case we need to use the truck tomorrow and we don't get the tires on there and the wheels. But uh, everything's looked like it's working out pretty good. So let's get the tires on and get this thing looking better than it is. I think it's going to look great. I really do. Happy early Father's Day to me. Right? I told my wife about it. She kind of rolled her eyes, but anyway. <laughs> better to ask for forgiveness and uh, permission, right? <laughs> I'll buy her something nice. I always, always do. So I will talk to you all later. I'll be back tomorrow. And hopefully it will be new tires on new wheels and truck is looking good. So talk to you later.
morning. It's May 24th. Had some, we've been having some really major, major storms come through the last few weeks. And last night was no different. We got woke up about two o'clock in the morning. Um, siren, not sirens, I couldn't hear sirens, but uh, my weather radar was going off. And last night we got roughly almost eight tenths of an inch, it looks like. But I'd say within the last two weeks, we probably had close to maybe 12 inches of rain. I know the Fremont Airport on the last storm had uh, 9.74 inches within one day. And that's where all my flooding came from on my yard. I'll show you that video here in a sec. I'll put it out on after this. But right now I'm headed to West Point. Or I'm headed into town to take my wheels in to get new tires put on them. And then I'm headed up to West Point to get my new pew. Should be a cool one. So I'll be back. Is it cold? Cold. That's gotta hurt. As you can see, my road is getting more eroded by the minute. Not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but there's a tornado north of Wahoo headed this way. That's where the water's coming from. My little culvert there can't handle it. So. I think we're in for some trouble here in a minute, so we'll find out. So guess where all that water's running to? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Got water running down there. Going all the way over here into my backyard. My backyard is flooding. Man, look at all that water behind my barn. Or my garage. Wow. We're getting a lot of water, that's for sure. <laughs> Let me take you to our new waterfront property and show you what we got going on here. This is nuts, man. I've never seen this much water ever. Not since I was a little kid. Look at this. Wow. We've got a new river. Got a new river. Isn't that crazy? The shoes are gonna get all muddy, I'm sure. But we got some hail out here still. It was golf ball size, so. Wow, look at that. That's my backyard. I'm glad they built this berm around that garage, otherwise, it'd be flooded too. Water everywhere. My feet are gonna get wet. The pond is definitely over full, which is not a bad thing. My fountain quit working. I don't know why that is. Man, look at that. You can see the creek on the other side of this water or that berm over there. It's out, it's been out all morning. this nuts I've never seen as much water here ever 
Not since I was a little kid, anyway. Kind of cool to see, but it's definitely not what I wanted. <laughs> so that's where we're at. We might get some more later, but we'll see. Hopefully this is about over. Tomorrow's supposed to be really nice, but we got to wait until tomorrow to get there. So we got a lakefront property, riverfront property, or whatever you want to call it right now. It's worth more, right? This is our driveway. It's pretty much flooded. But this is where the river was running down. Yeah, they were huge. They were big. This is where my river is. I gotta get the, my shovel out eventually and close that in with something. <laughs> but the water was running down the side of here too. As you can see where it was running, it's still running. That's where our little creek is right there. And it was out of the banks earlier this morning. So, welcome to Nebraska's weather. Jim said he got probably nine inches of rain out of his place and he's flooded in again. He was able to get out earlier this morning, but got home and it's flooded again now because we got more rain. I'm gonna go look at my rain gauge, see how much we got just within that last half hour or whatever it was raining. All right, let's see how much rain we got on that round. We got an inch and seven tenths. I just dropped the wheels off. Now I'm headed to West Point to go pick up my pew. I'm more excited about that than I think I am my wheels. <laughs> well, I'm back in Fremont. I went and got my pew. It's right there. And you see back there, I got my tires. They all four fit in here. And I will tell you, that white letter, I'm glad I got that. I've got white letter, white outline, white letters. Be a Goodrich. They look good. They really do look good. They're gonna look good on that truck, that's for sure. I'll be happy with them. I'm pretty sure I will. So let's get home and uh, get them put on. Well, believe it or not, all four of them actually fit in here. I was surprised. I think they're gonna look good. They're gonna look really good on that truck. Can't wait to get them on. So let's get to work, shall we? Alright, we've got the white letters cleaned up. I'll wipe the chrome off when I go to mount it. I think they're going to look really good. Let's get them on the truck. Tread pattern really good too. I like the tread pattern. Should be good for high weather stuff. 
get me on my driveway in the winter time. And if I go off road, it'll be okay. I think for good things about these tires, so hopefully it will be good for me. Okay, these wheels came with a smooth center cap and I wanted a Chevy logo with them like I said earlier but they didn't ship them so I went and bought these I got a black Chevy logo on there I like these a lot better I really do but we got two sets now so it's too bad they didn't ship these the ones I wanted so let's get these put on shall we One. There we go. I got looks good. That looks really good. I got black logos everywhere else, so that looks really good. Now I gotta learn the PPMS sensors to the truck. And we're gonna call that good. That looks really good. I like that. I really, really like that. I'm happy I got those. So, let's get our little tool out here. Oh, hang on. Let's see if these uh, valve stem caps actually fit. I got new valve stem caps too. I don't know if you can tell what they are or not. A little big footsie. So let's see if they fit. And they fit. Nice. I'll get them put on all four and then we'll learn the TPMS. Now stem caps are done. We got our little learning tool here. They worked last night and they uh, came to the truck, read to the truck. So this is how we do this on a 2016. Oh, there's the mileage. I don't know if you can see it, it's 47,618. That's the mileage that is on the truck when I put these wheels and tires on. Now you press and hold the check mark once you get to the, once you get to the uh, tire pressure thing. You need to press and hold this, and it'll come up in learning. Here's a beep. Come over here. Driver side. Passenger side. Passenger side rear. Driver side rear. And there we go. Double beep. We should be good to go. It should be reading. Looks like we need to adjust a little bit, but other than that, we're doing good. So that's done. That's done. It's working. I'm super happy with this. I really am. I really, really am. That thing looks freaking awesome. Freaking awesome, man. Best looking truck in Fremont. What do you think? I love it. I really do. That is so cool looking. I got good taste, I think, don't I? <laughs> anyway, that might do it for this rendition. Uh, short, quick video. Not really short, quick, but it's a video I can make now because my wife's doing much better. Like I said, I appreciate all the prayers and thoughts and well wishes and everything you guys gave us. It really helped a lot. It really did. I'm going to take this thing out tomorrow. i got to go to Oakland to a memorial for my aunt who passed away a few weeks ago. 
So I'm gonna take this on the road and see how it drives and should be a nice smooth ride hopefully. The tread pattern, all the weights on these things, these things, I looked at all the back sides of these wheels and they took very little, very little weight on all of them. So they must be pretty good, pretty good wheels. They're from OE wheels obviously. Tires are obviously good or else they would have taken a lot more weight. But I'm gonna be uh, really happy with these I think. I am. I love this truck. I really do. I like I like it a lot more than my other one actually. I really do. Even though it is a special edition truck, I had to pay extra for it because it's a, a shitbox edition. <laughs> but for making a more shitbox edition worthy. Yeah, I really like it. I really, really like it. If I didn't have this thing, I would drive that thing more. But I've only put like four grand, four thousand miles on it since I bought it, which is about a year ago. So I might sell those other tires. I might keep them, but I'm going to clean them up and put them in the corner for now. See how these go for a month or so, and then uh, go from there. So I forgot one thing, kind of an important thing. I got this new hitch cover that I'm going to be putting on. It's made of plastic, obviously, because it's made with a 3D printer. We'll see how long it hangs on there, but it is kind of purple, kind of purple. I was hoping for a darker purple like this, but it's not gonna, doesn't match very well, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So let's get this thing put on here, shall we? If you have a custom hitch cover, always make sure you put a lock on it. Because I've had so many of them get stolen, it's ridiculous. I figured it out. I had to keep turning the wrong way. Anywho, Nebraska one will go on when Nebraska season, football season comes around to town. We got that too. So this one will go up here for now, and there's that one. We'll get the truck outside and we'll show you what it looks like. But I am really happy with the way that thing looks. I really am happy with it. Awesome, huh? Well, as most of you probably know, you know me, I've got a little bit of OCD. Not bad, but it's not what you think either. It's not an obsessive compulsory disorder, whatever they call it. It's obsessive Corvette disorder. And I can't put anything away dirty. So these old wheels are getting cleaned before I never use them again. <laughs> I don't know, what am I doing? What am I doing? Anyway, I gotta clean them before I put them away. Well, there they are. Off with the old. On with the new. We'll see what happens with these later on down the road. But as of right now, I have a hard time selling anything that's factory with a car. So I'll probably hang on to them. And that's going to do it for this video. I think we are done. I'm happy with it. I really am. Now I can go to town, put some money in the bank, and pay for them. That beauty, huh? That's a beautiful looking truck. I like that a lot better than my other one, that's for sure. That is cool. That is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like that. That's a beautiful truck, man. I'm patting myself on the back right now. <laughs> yeah, look at this 
squatchy squatch. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. All right, I think we're done. Next for that thing will be a bigger screen for the stereo, but that won't be for a while yet. So, be back later for that. So as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay great. And hopefully we'll see you again soon from this beautiful acreage, uh, grape ape acres. So really, really beautiful day today. Should be drying up a lot of that water we had, hopefully. Lawn loves it. I've been mowing it twice a week because it's been growing so damn fast. So I will see you guys later. I gotta go up on a roof and check for hail damage too. I haven't done that yet. So later on, I'll talk to you later. Take care.